Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Level 3, Exploratory Laboratory Story Walkthrough for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. We do pick up a level trophy achievement, Exploratory L Laboratory. And uh, you can see we don't get any mini kits or any stand in perils. And the true believer status is 100,000 studs. We captured Doc Ock, but we lost the Green Goblin. Don't worry, we're tracking him. Target located. He's gone to the Oscorp building. What would Green Goblin want in a totally legitimate and entirely unsuspicious office tower like Oscorp? Let's go find out. That won't be necessary, Mr. Richards. Uh, fantastic? Uh, Dr. Richards. Uh, sir. Director Fury needs you and Cap back at the lab. We need to know more about these special bricks and what they can do. Then let's try to figure that out. We've got to. Because with great power comes great responsibility. Green Goblin has been sighted entering Oscorp. We need you to get there, find him, and hopefully get back that cosmic brick. I guess we'll find our own way to Oscorp then. Won't be easy with this mess they left behind. All right, so we got ourselves a couple new characters. We got Hawkeye, and we got the Black Widow. And we're going to start right off the bat with using old Hawkeye's bow and arrow to shoot the bottom part of that silver off. I guess you don't really need to shoot the top off, but I guess you could call me an overachiever. Yeah, we're a trophy achiever. Oh, Billy. Okay, so once we get those all cleaned up, we will actually shoot the holes. We love plugging some holes. And uh, we'll fill those up with some acrobatic bars that we will then spin to win with our uh, fearless Black Widow. She's also going to come in handy here in a few minutes when we use her invisibility and uh, sneak through some security measures. But after a quick little fumble of the depth perception, as I usually always seem to run into in these games, uh, we will go ahead and uh, jump up on the acrobatic bar and spin all the way across. Grabbing the blue studs. And, well, the blue stud, I missed one. But uh, it's all right, it's all right. All right, it's all right. All right, and then right off to the right-hand side, there's a, a little jump pad there. I guess not really a pad, more of a, uh, what would you call this thing? The acrobatic wall, maybe? Go ahead and use that to get all the way to the top and then make your way down to the security panel. Flip it open and then actually, uh, you know how this works. You just got to shut them all off so there's no more power. Usually we're trying to make power. Now we're turning the power off. You can drop down on the top here. There's quite a few studs. I would recommend snagging up real quick. Wee! I love the fall. Free falling. Yeah, ATMs, money makers. Make sure that you smack those things around a little bit. Only in the game, people. Not okay to smack an ATM around in real life. Get you in trouble. I like the uh, NYC logo there. That's pretty cool. But we're going to switch back to old Hawkeye here. And we're going to find out that we've uh, dropped electricity, so now we can get through and we can shoot an arrow and uh, use the old grapple hook there. Heave ho! Heave ho! No, I'm not talking to Black Widow. I'm talking about pulling the rope there. And luckily for us, there's a nice little ghost blue stud trail that we can follow that takes us right where we need to go. And it's actually going to cue another cutscene, which you guys have made pretty clear that you would like to hear them, so I'll let you hear them. Look at that. Seek sneaky sneaky. Within the Oscorp building's high security perimeter, Norman Osborne's labs undertake secretive research into radical new chemical and genetic technologies. What took you so long? Clear 
compliments you shouldn't have. Hmm. Would anybody else uh, get reminded of Resident Evil in the elevator scene right there? That was kind of kind of freaky going up like you're going to lose a limb. Okay, so once we uh, get going here, we're going to actually just basically chase the green goblin through this. Um, and there's quite a lot to do, but it's all pretty obvious and right in front of us, but we'll walk you through it anyways. Uh, funny enough, this actually threw me for a loop, but only because I wasn't paying attention. I was looking around the room and not paying attention to the color scheme that flashes down below. But essentially, you have three balls floating around, and those each of those balls represent a color, and down below, it flashes three times, representing the color order. So it's kind of confusing because there's three balls and then there's three boxes but you only need one ball to complete the box one of things so so yeah you can see there blue yellow red or you know blue yellow red is that right blue yellow red yeah all right there you go success and once you get that correct it'll open the gate and let us in now i was told that if you stay away from the scientists they won't really bother you but i kind of got all up in their grill and they still didn't bother me so I don't think there'll be much of a problem for you. Just keep on making your way through. Obviously, uh, like I said, you're going to be following the old green goblin. There's a couple items that you can use the spidey sense with and uh, use the old rope pulley to pull down those points. And well, now we're going to have to bust up a bunch of stuff because we need some bricks. The explosive arrows are pretty cool, but you gotta admit the delay is a little bit uh, misleading at times because it's like Phew. it's kind of like my sias at the end of the videos. I don't know how many of you actually have made it to the end of my videos, but every video that I use actually has a until next time see ya at the end, and I try to get creative with it sometimes. Sometimes it's just the average see ya, but um, it's kind of like my farewell trademark. You know, everybody's got their own thing. I try to make it mine. You know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? All right. So there's plenty of studs to be had in here. Not any multipliers or anything that you can really gain from. So uh, in the end, it's a lot of work for a little studs. And you'd think I'd know by now that not to really waste any time until you have multipliers. But somehow I always get sucked into going, oh, yeah, what about, oh, here's a good one. Oh, here's a good one. Oh, yeah. Somehow it always works out that way. Alright, so once you get in this little uh, encased room here, use the spidey sense, which will reveal another grapple hook. Get close enough, and you can actually reach out and use your web to pull that in. And now, destroy. So, Green Goblin's only representing one heart right now, so it's going to be pretty easy to take care of him and send him up the elevator. Even though he just bomb, 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 bomb us. Alright, he flies off now. We'll have to worry about him for a minute or two. Oh! He just ruins our elevator. That's no good. No good. Alright, so now we can w <laughs> we'll work our way through here. Of course, you know, there's always kind of the easy way up with Spider-Man climbing up with the webbies. We'll go ahead and do that and get up top. Oh, swing and a miss. Let's, let's try that again. This time we'll go, at the r go about it the right way. Nope, can't get up there yet. You gotta climb up the spidey wall. It's weird that you can only climb up in these certain spots. I don't know what makes them different other than they just did it for the game's sake. They could have made the level design a little bit more uh, realistic for that matter. I'm just being picky. This is a great game. Alright, so now that we've used the grapple hook to pull that down, go ahead and destroy... Well, you just need to use Spider-Man and smack it around. Cha -cha, cha -cha. Yeah, there you go. All right, pull the switch. That'll enable the latter, which will then give the other characters access to get up top. And then once up top, you see what's got to be done next. It's shiny silver. Use an arrow whoa, 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 to blow whoa, whoa, it up. All right, now we uh, use that next grapple, and it'll actually leave a web rope behind. And this will give access to the other characters to get all the way to the top, which then we see the green goblin come swooping in again. <laughs> Oh, there's my the infamous cutie. There's my kitty cat. I don't know if you guys can hear that on the mic or not, but she is quite the talker, and she has quite a unique meow. It's not your normal meow. But if you can't, oh well, we're going to keep on moving on, regardless if you can hear my kitty cat or not. All right, so use the spidey sense when you come to the wall at the end of the tunnel here, and it'll 
provide yet another grapple sequence, which will then open up an area with shiny silver material, which is our cue to go ahead and pull out Hawkeye and gets to blowing up things. And now, here we go. Here's where we're going to put Black Widow to use again. So rather than getting destroyed here again, you know, I feel like Resident Evil was maybe used for this level design as concept because, I mean, here's another moment, kind of a Resident Evil thing. But, you know, again, I'm not very educated in, uh, you know, what goes on inside the, what is it, the Oscorp building. But once you get inside the door, that's actually going to bring us to the next little cutscene. Yeah. Huh? I'm sorry, but you three don't seem to have the proper visitor passes. <laughs> on my way shortly. <laughs> wow, getting a visitor pass around here is grueling. Oh, come on, there was a fish on your head. Uh, there should have been, oh, it's a little fishy around here. There should have definitely been some sort of a uh, remark regarding the but, all right, so we're back at it. We're going to shoot with Hawkeye up top. And we're going to blast the silver item up there that's going to drop bricks. We'll build the ladder and slide on up. And once we get up top, there are uh, there is a control panel for saving. Feel free to use it if you like. I'm going to go right on by it. And then we're going to get introduced to, uh, well, you know who that is. I'm pretty sure you do anyways. And if you don't, we'll, uh, we'll, get, we'll get a nice face-to-face -face greeting with him shortly. Oh, to the K. So make your way through here. There's all these uh, dark figures that uh, definitely leave behind some goo at times and are not really that uh, fun to play around with. So try to take those guys out immediately. And once you do, uh, there will actually be another group or wave coming through. They just kind of keep on dropping down. So it's kind of good for your, your studdage factor, but at the same time can be kind of annoying because want to get something accomplished you're gonna have a bunch of dudes jumping down on you but uh keep on breaking everything that's the goal for right now just destroy everything and then make your way up and then get to the grapple hooks with spider-man this will then drop down some boxes giving you access up top with you and the other characters and oh yeah still getting familiar with Looks how like these characters too. function I like how you can like jump up onto the wall and like chill on the web. Pretty sweet. All right, there is a purple stud up here too that we uh, will show you here in a second. And there's a couple blue ones up top, so make sure you float around and uh, you know, grab as many of those as possible. Hundred thousand doesn't seem like a lot, but uh, definitely can be when you miss out on a few things like the you know the blues and the and the purple. All right, so yeah, watch out for these little pits. Remember I was saying they live, leave little sludge pits behind. Uh, I find a lot of them, so get used to me falling in those. All right, we promised a purple stud. There she blows, right there. You can see it up in the top left-hand corner. It's right up at the top level, right to the back side of the cylinder um, on the left-hand side over by where the control panel is. So now we're going to go ahead and flip this big cylinder around, which is actually going to reveal some arrow plugs that we can then use Hawkeye and his awesome arrowage to fill them holes up. Yeah, buddy. Giggity. And then we'll climb all the way up there so we can do the do the plug-in. And although I like to get all the plug-in done in one run, sometimes you got to, uh, sometimes you gotta make a couple of times. That sounds funny. That sounds real funny. Anyways, moving along. Destroy the baddies. There are a couple of waves that come, so be ready to deal with them. And yeah, there's probably a neutral spot. You know, you could probably get them in two shots, but uh, it took me like 75, so there. All right, lots of studs to collect all the way around. Ooh, lots of schmegma to fall into. A little different than the pirates, Lego pirates schmegma. Bootstrap bills, little green and yellow. I don't even know what to call it. That's what I called it, schmegma. Okay, there's another purple one. I can't get there yet, and we don't have a flying character currently, so we cannot get all the way up there. 
but we can use these bars to spin around on. But it would be uh, dumb of us to go up as anybody other than the Chica, because she, the Black Widow, has a special power that allows us to be invisible. And then as we get close to the top, there's a security feature. So make sure you go invisible. And work your way all the way over and flip the switch. Booyaka shout. We'll uh, drop the big old ladder and open up the gates up above. And now, as you may have guessed, we're going to climb the ladder. Look at this jump. I love this. Climb the jump all the way. Ba -boing, ba -boing, ba -boing. Anybody hit 100,000 studs yet? We're just over the halfway. Quite a few going on, y'all. And, of course, we're going to smash and grab everything we can. I love that she's got some, some blasters. Pew, 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 pew. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I have no knowledge whatsoever of Black Widow. In fact, I, uh, if you would have asked me who the Black Widow is, I probably would have been like, I don't know, what does he do? <laughs> I had no clue. I'm sure at some point somebody will remind me of something I know, and I probably have some knowledge of her fighting somebody or something. But at this point, I don't. Hawkeye, I remember. Spider-Man, of course, I remember. How could you not? All right, there's where we're headed. You can see there's a dual uh, grapple point for Spider-Man to take out. And then eventually we will get to open these doors right here that are standing right in front of us. But not before we drop into the, the uh, I don't know what those are, La Brea tar pits? Jeez, it's crazy. They are everywhere. But there's quite a few studs up in there, so that's why I was getting all up in there. Make sure I take them all home with me. <laughs> Make sure I get... Uh, Get my mud bath on, too. I, I can't go without uh, dropping in some of it. Ready? Oh, I thought I was not doing it. All right, destroy all the boxes over here, which will give us access to the rest of this area. Yeah, come on. All of these little uh, cells that you can see here, they're like little doors, little elevators, little chutes. No, no ladders, just chutes. And uh, those are all going to be guys coming through there here in a minute. It's like a laundry drop or something, but dudes come through. So we got all the way to the end here, and obviously we need to be Spider-Man. Jumping into the tar pit's not going to help us. Yeah, nope. Spider-Man, what are you doing, buddy? It's Spider-Man. All right, so we still have a few things to destroy. I don't know why we're wasting all this precious time. I guess I saw that I was getting close. And you know what? We actually do reach the true believer status, all because of my tediousness. But... Here in a second, we're going to switch on over to the Web Slinger. And there we go. Now we'll go ahead and do the double, double whammy. And pull it down. This will then drop some bricks, which we can build up. Okay, no, wrong button. Not the wrong button, wrong action. And now we can plug the hole with an arrow. Boing, 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 boing. All right, now we can spin up. We can go one way and flip the switch, and then go the other way. Oh, come on now. Get up in there. Wrong person. Got to be the canary. Canary. Got to be the black widow. <laughs> I called her the canary. Tweet, tweet, tweet. All right, so this puzzle kind of tweaked me out a little bit because they don't touch. So you can see it's like the right way because it's like this light blue, but yet, like, why, aren't, why isn't that one lighting up? See, I would expect it to light up to tell me I'm going the right way, but... No matter which way you look at it, they wouldn't connect to each other, so I was a little bit confused. So then I just went and said, okay, well, what if I'm just guessing? What if I connect them all the way to the end and uh, they don't touch? I wonder if they'll work. And guess what? They do. So just basically draw. It's like a maze. Make it all the way to the end so that they're all connected. And here we go. One more spin to win. Here we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Power Puzzle complete. Caution advised. Now, uh, we opened up the garage, but this is where we queue the other guys. And look at that. The other door is now open for us, too. You're welcome. All right, so now we can make our way up and around, or down and around, I should say. You don't need to go up. But it might be worth your time to do that, because there are quite a few studs floating around in the ceiling area. Mostly right here above the cells, and they are kind of tricky to get to. I eventually just kind of give up on them. I'm like, what the heck? Uh, using the web seemed to work all right. But there's quite a few guys on the ground, too, which will help you with the multiplier. So 
get a good multiplier going before you try to jump up and get those, and you might end up getting like a times ten on one of those thousands, which would be surely helpful at this point, especially when we're looking at ninety-two thousand seven hundred and ninety. Yep, Spidey Sense ain't going to help you there, buddy. All right, so move all the way down, and there is plenty of studs inside both of these rooms and a couple of guys, too. So, um, And all of a sudden, the door goes slamming down. So we're going to have to basically fight off all the bad guys, and there's a switch in either room, and you'll have to stand on that switch with two characters, one on each side, and that will then reopen that door. So look at that. We're in the home stretch. We only need 650. 650. 550. Who can add? I can't. Thank you for correcting me. I saw. I, I, I could just hear you cringe as soon as I said that. Like, wait a minute. You're mad. Hey. All right. True believer. Woohoo! Not to be, uh, you know, doubted or anything. Pretty sure you all knew that we were a true believer. Regardless of our stud count. All right. Yeah, I'm shooting at the wrong guy there. Wasting everybody's time. All right. One guy on one switch. Come on, come on, come on. All right, you can see it lit up the left side. There's still a right side there, so we'll do the smart thing. We'll switch characters and head on over. Oh, but not before we jump into some schmegma. Oh, yeah, one more time. I actually saw a couple studs hiding behind some of those, and I thought I could get in there and get them. And realistically, I didn't even need to because I've got my true believer. All right, doors will open. No more locked doors. We'll go ahead and uh, destroy everybody in sight and then make our way through the door. But not before jumping in the schmegma a couple more times. I told you, I love that stuff. It's like my favorite thing to do. What are you going to do today, Brian? I'm going to go jump in the schmegma. Straight up, that's how I roll. And once you uh, get through the door, there will be a giant speaker. Talk about boombox. I thought this was pretty cool. Riding in my car. Seriously. I got a nice bumping system in my ride. Oh, snap. Look at Spidey getting his twerk on. Oh, yeah. It's funny. We had a, we have a Miley Cyrus reference coming up in the next video. How do I know that? Because I'm, I'm psychic. Nah, I, truthful story. I actually recorded and edited three and four um, backwards not really recorded but I recorded them both and then I ended up accidentally editing four first don't ask me how I did that but I did all right so basically destroy everything in your pathway and then head down the hallway <laughs> then things start to get a little freaky who's this where is he <laughs> all right so uh, what may have appeared like we were gonna have a boss battle turns out to be just a bunch of cronies in their suits coming to get us. I can see a mini kit off to the right, at least it looked like it. Too bad we can't get it yet. Right inside that room there. But another good place to get a multiplier going, so if you have not reached the true believer status as of yet, there is still hope for the story mode accomplishment. Now you can see there's a couple of silver items up there. I guess they're not silver items, but uh, they're definitely items that we can blast away. And uh, the arrows will then explode and reveal a couple of grapple hooks that Spider-Man can use. Come on now. There we go. Get your grapple on. Pull! Pull, son, pull! All right, now we got a, a little bit little bit of a fire going on, but uh, it actually put itself out, so we won't worry about that. I think we might need Captain America's shield, which is one of the most unrealistic ways of getting over fire I've seen to date. You know, for a totally legitimate and unsuspicious office tower, this place is surprisingly disgusting. You said it. I think that's all of them. Uh, no. I see you. Slop running into you, Spider-Man! Ooh, scary! 
All right, in case you didn't know, Venom is a hater of good music. So what we're going to try to do is uh, we're going to put some tunes together for him and get our blast on with the music waves. Uh, in order to do so, you just got to take out a series of baddies that come charging at you and then take out everything around you until you see the bouncing bricks in the far left. Go ahead and run and build those bricks, and it'll actually build a pretty cool uh, retro boombox. Looks like an old cassette player. And uh, to be honest with you, I had one very similar to it, but mine was a dual cassette player. So that, that was the only difference. It was pretty sweet. In fact, uh, if I can find some pictures of it, I'll post some pictures. It had some like neon green on it and stuff. It was pretty cool. Back then, it was the awesomeness, I'll tell you what. All right, so we built the speaker box up. He obviously does not like that. Drops down, gets all weird on us, gets all Donnie Darko-ish. And, uh, and then he actually flees back up. But he destroys our boom box first, so we'll have to find another way to annoy this guy and put him to rest. Another wave of baddies drops out, and then one comes tumbling out from a little room here that actually has a control panel. Flip the switch, and look at that. Doesn't that look like a crash test dummy? Like it straight up looked like a crash test dummy. And uh, it'll actually open up some gates and provide a flamethrower? It's pretty interesting. It's got some good distance on it, too, I tell you what. So uh, press the action button as indicated right next to it, and hop on, and then follow him around until he drops down and goes all crazy again. And then, as you can see, we actually did some damage to him, so we've got, uh, we have two more hearts we have to remove. And boom! Punch him around a little bit, and that'll be the second heart. So the first one was from the boom box. Second one was after we uh, knock him down with the flamethrower and actually hit him. Like, the flamethrower itself doesn't do the damage. You have to run up and smack him. Then we have another a little item swinging from a crane on the right hand side over here. I'm sure you can see that. Well, if you play your cards right, you might find your way to a target that will allow you to shoot and drop the pieces that are needed to complete the last part of this. These guys just keep coming and coming and coming. So if you need to milk some studs, here is the time to do it. Alright, look up and you can see that there are the two grapple plugs. Go ahead and pull them down and then build up the bricks that fall, which will then give you the rest of the item, the, the big bell here. And shoot it with your arrow. Ding, ding, ding. Ring his bell and it'll drop him down. He'll get all wonky again and smack him for the final cutscene. Green Goblin, come on! should have packed my anti-goblin arrows. Legolas, ha! Can you and the other Avengers track him down? I gotta do dishes, homework, explain to my girlfriend why I am always, always leaving her waiting at coffee places. I mean, my life is really hard. <laughs> well, we pretty much just got teabagged by, by Spider-Man there swinging up, did we not? But that's all right, though. A little celebratory teabagging is all right when you're uh, when you're ringing off trophies. Oh yeah. So we got a couple characters. We did ring off the uh, level three exploratory laboratory uh, trophy achievement. We got a few studs. We got ourselves a gold brick for beating the level, and we'll also get one for the true believer status because we do believe. And uh, other than that, that'll actually pretty much wrap up the Lego Marvel superheroes hey, level three exploratory laboratory. Yeah. I like saying laboratory. It sound, it flows better, but I understand I'm saying it wrong. So anyways, five gold bricks so far. Not too bad. Not too great. No mini kits. Or stands in peril, for we are saving all of those for the free play. Speaking of which, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. Tell us what free play level you're looking forward to the most. Uh, tell us if you've had help in the past with our free play videos. And let me say free play one more time, because it's just awkward. Alright, now that I have that accomplished, let me direct your attention on over to happythumbsgaming.com, 
We have product reviews, game reviews, trophy achievement guides. All of our videos that we've ever done are also on our website. And uh, we have a contact form. You can get in touch with us if you don't like Facebook. All sorts of stuff. So that'll do it, kids. As always, until next time. Bow, bow. Sick as